Hi, my name is Dan Miller and welcome to another Legal Minute. Today we're going to talk about assault and batteries, what the Commonwealth has to prove in order to find you guilty of assault and batteries, and what possible defenses you may have available to you. In order to find you guilty of assault and battery, the Commonwealth has the burden of proving beyond a reasonable doubt that you touched someone and that you did so without their consent. Interestingly enough, there does not need to be any corroborating evidence. That means that someone can go down to the magistrate's office, allege that you touched them, shoved them, pushed them, grabbed for their phone without any physical evidence, without any bruising, marks, or abrasions, can get that warrant against you for assault and battery. So there's two main defenses to assault and battery. The first defense is what they call self-defense or defense of others. When one applies the theory of self-defense, they have to prove that they were in reasonable apprehension or fear of being assaulted and that that amount of force that was used was reasonable in light of the perceived threat. Now that's a lot to think about, but in essence, if someone brings a knife to a fight, which is perceived to be deadly force and they're in close proximity to you, then the defense may be that you're able to use deadly force in order to prevent them from using deadly force against you. On the opposite end of the spectrum, if someone comes to you with fists and intends to hit you, you can't pull out a gun and shoot them. So again, the amount of force used has to be reasonable in light of the perceived threat. The second defense that's available to you is what's called mutual combat. In that scenario, both parties consent to getting into a fight. One strikes the other first, and then a fight ensues. That person that's been injured cannot then go to the magistrate and claim that they were assaulted because they consented to get into this fight. Look, as with any type of criminal defense, there are many other defenses that exist. Today, we just went over a few. If we can help you with this or any other matter, please give us a call. And remember, the right attorney makes all the difference.